Welcome to the edge of the end, everyone. I'm your host, Swift Edge, and that camera is way off. Wow, why, what is going on with my hair? Welcome to the edge of the end, everyone. I'm your host, and today we are finishing off the delightfully scary, disturbing Greylock tapes. We have two tapes left, tape 11 and 12, and I have a feeling that they are promising to be freaking creepy. Like, just... Uh, gross. We're gonna start it off with the first to last video. Preparations for a guest. I'm afraid of what that guest is. I'm not saying who, I'm saying what. And then we'll do our finale with a very long video. Waking your subconscious. I'm probably gonna go right from tape 11 to tape 12. I'm just gonna let it play out that way. I hope you have a drink, I hope you have a snack, I hope you're ready to be creeped the fudge out. Coming up next, your death inside these walls. I don't want to go inside any walls from Greylock. A home renovation project that brings a new spirit to an old basement. Is that foreshadowing? I feel like that's foreshadowing. And I don't like it. Oh. Oh, you're going into an old basement. Those are some clean walls. Adjust, dang it. Whatever was in there got out. Whatever was in there just got out. We just started! Stop it! Stop teasing! Stop teasing the entity! I'm like, yeah, you like that? You like that thought of getting out? It's getting out, I can tell you right now. Oh, it's getting out. It's getting out like a frat boy's getting out of a Nux can of beer. Like, oh my god, it, it. Did you go inside? I didn't know you were stupid. You're really doing this. You are 100% doing this. I need to adjust my lighting. There we go. Now I don't look like I'm so red in the face. Like I've been sitting out in the sun for 20 hours, baking and toasting. creepy this hit this gets I told you we're going right into it name Charlotte Jean Melgren we're in this what I think is the series finale property of US Department of the Army participation in this part of the TF system may result in the viewer achieving a heightened sensory state that's going to cause the viewer to experience unexpected visual and auditory Occurrences which have no discernible source. Oh, there's a source. It's called hell. These occurrences may include, but are not limited to, transient moving shapes, unsettling shadow formations, vocal phenomena such as whispering, unidentifiable, unidentifiable music that sounds distant or muffled, a feeling of a separate presence even while alone. For a more comprehensive list, yeah, you will need the following equipment. System neurovisor, headset, workbook, and writing utensil. Great, so a UR, VR headset that shows me things I don't want to know. Waking your subconscious. Greetings, and welcome to the second video program in the Preconditional Protocols and Orientation video system for Unit 13. 
TF2, waking your subconscious. Team Fortress? This video cassette has been specially designed to utilize powerful psychological exercises, along with cutting edge technology, and your own brain's neuroplasticity, to allow Unit 13 to access the deepest energy potential of your incredible mind. This will be required to increase the likelihood of prime form cognogenesis. Before we begin, let's go over the required checklist to be sure you have everything in order, so that we won't end up with any negative or unexpected outcomes from this program. First on the checklist, ensure that you are alone, and will not be disturbed, for the entire duration of this program. It's critical that you do not become distracted, as working with the brain in such a way is a very delicate process. Second, turn off all light sources, except for your television or monitor that you are using for this program. No. This aids tremendously in your brain's ability to focus, but it also can make you feel vulnerable or frightened, which are beneficial to this program achieving the desired results. Ideally, what? you would wait until nightfall to complete this part of the program. Third, ensure that your volume is turned up to a level where no outside or ambient noise is able to leak through your headset. This too, helps with focus, but it also aids in those feelings of fear, and vulnerability, which are where our deepest and most complex solves are rooted. Fourth, have your workbook open to the TF2 section and have your writing utensil nearby, as some exercises will require you to write. However, if for any reason you do not have your workbook, simply grab a regular notebook or some sheets of paper, and write your name and TF2 at the top of each sheet you use. You will need to hand those into your program liaison, and they will take care of transferring the data from there. Once all of these conditions have been met, you're ready to continue to the next part. Now is the time to make sure that your NeuroVisor headset is correctly equipped and connected. If you need any assistance, or are looking for more information regarding the NeuroVisor, be sure to check the section titled Equipment and Connection in your Unit 13 Program Handbook. This will be your final opportunity to pause playback for the rest of this tape. Pausing after this point will cause a disruption, which could carve the night. I was gonna try to do it as a meme, but then your I guess someone already tried to beat me to it. Dang it! Being collected by your How dare you! <laughs> your screen is Suck. about to gradually turn red. Once it is completely red, the program has officially begun, and the point of no return has been crossed. You have 10 seconds. Okay, this should be a clear signal. Don't do this. If they have all these rules and limitations and restrictions, don't take part in this program. Like, you want it to be spooky and scary so you can achieve some kind of test result. That would make me go, no, I'm out. I'm locking the gateway to the deeper corridors of your psyche. I don't want to go deeper. Sensitivity warning. Our first section induction contains bright flickering. If you have a photosensitivity disorder, it is best that you do not look at your screen. Close or shield your eyes, and just listen. Once the tone in your headset changes, it will be safe to look at your screen again. Induction will begin in 5 seconds. I guess that's also a good warning for everyone watching is that there might be flashing lights. Beginning induction. Please stare at your screen for 30 seconds. I really don't want to, to be honest. Oh, I hate it. Oh, gosh! Oh, good lord, that's a lot. Oh, okay, that is... That is a lot. I am so sorry to everyone that is watching along with me. I hope you are all okay. There was text on the screen. Do you think I'm really going to be able to stare at that for 30 seconds? I just took Tylenol and Advil, man. You're making me feel like I need to take more. Holy moly, dude. That's a lot. That's a lot for a tape. There's something right there. And it's getting closer. Priming. Prim preparing your mind for enhanced neuroplastic realignment. Nothing needs this to be. This exercise will present you with five separate sets of words. Each set will contain six words. For each set, you will have 10 seconds to choose the one word out of the six that you feel doesn't fit with the others, and write it down in your workbook, or on an appropriately labeled piece of paper. 
If you do not have your workbook, simply write the numbers 1 through 5 vertically on your paper, and place your answers beside each corresponding number. Now, let's begin. Nope. I'm not doing nothing. I'm sitting in a chair. There's, well, this is a desk. I got a table right here, there's a table over there, there's a couch right there, there's no rope beside me, so stay away. All of this to me is important. All of this is number one. Number one, I need it. Get the fudge out of here! Terrified, screaming, running, following, hiding, visible. I will throw hands with something. Back the fudge up. Back up. I uh, no. I hate you. I hate you. Love contorts her flesh and bone. Mutilate, disfigured, mangled, butchered, dismembered, improved. I don't like. Are we referring? To, oh, what was her name? To the one who was in the morgue? Are you referring to her? Mor what the fudge? Morph, transform, mu mutate, turn, change you. That thing is getting closer, and I... Better back up. I'm incomplete. I will punch my monitor. What? Warning, code UA31108, unauthorized alterations detected. This device has detected unauthorized alterations to the program content of this tape. Please stop playback immediately and return this cassette to your program liaison. Failure to adhere to this warning may result in undesired consequences and could compromise your psychological well-being. I think we're already way past that. Conditioning. Testing the way that you perceive and respond to certain stimuli. Yeah, that warning... This it, next section is are a already pulled in. variation of the Stroop test, which will measure multiple facets of your reaction to congruent and incongruent stimuli, while also examining how you deal with high stress, high anxiety situations. You will be shown a series of faces with emotional expressions, and the word for each emotion written on each face. The word could match the expression, like the word happy on a smiling face, or they might not match, like the word angry appearing on a sad face. Mm. Yeah, but that's just mask. Someone can be smiling, but pissed. You are about to begin the first testing phase of this that's section. Terrifying. This will be the easiest phase, with each subsequent phase becoming more and more difficult. Look directly at your screen and state your responses out loud. Phase 1 testing begins in 5 seconds. This is only gonna go wrong. One more. It's only gonna get wronger. Neutral. Okay. Happy. Sad. You're gonna show me a messed up looking face, aren't you? You're gonna you're gonna show me a really messed up face. Please state the word written on each face and disregard the expression. Sad. Angry. Happy. Neutral. Sad. Happy. Please state the expression shown on each face and disregard the word. Angry. Happy. Neutral. Scared. Oh my god. I knew that was gonna happen. You can't trick me. I know. Neutral. Happy. Sad. Angry. Happy. Neutral. Angry. Neutral. Sad. Happy. Scared. Scared. Getting more and more effed up as we go! Changed. That's... Oh, that was good. That was good. I like that. But that was... <laughs> that was good! Don't show me a house! Kennels open! You leave those puppies alone! Not the puppies! I'm 
kill you just for that. You touch my dogs, I'm gonna put you down. I'll rip you limb from limb. T. Erickson. Are you sure you want to call the property owner? Yes. Something has happened. And they need to know. Something was on the tape. They're already dead though, so they're not answering. They're 100% dead. Hello? Uh, yes, hello, this is Troy with Evervigil Security. Am I speaking with Charlotte Melgren? Uh, uh, uh yeah, yes, what happened this time? Uh, Miss Melgren, we've detected some unusual activity at Forever Friends Kennels. Our system alerted us that kennel door one was open and then closed unexpectedly, followed by a power outage. Is it correct that your primary residence is the first unit at Forever Friends? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but... Okay, okay, so I'm not the one who got the security system. It was my dad. So I don't know if there's some way to fix this or whatever, but you guys have called me in the middle of the night, like, five times in the past couple of weeks, and it's all turned out to be false alarms. Every time. I, I'm so sorry about that, ma'am. I, I, I can take a look into why that might be happening if you'd like, uh, but first, I need to be sure that you're in a safe situation. Are you currently alone? Yeah, it's just me. But I, I'm looking out the window. It's the entity. The entity's on the line. This is not security. No, right now, and everything seems fine. I mean, the power's out, but it literally it's goes the out. It's transition for it to be the entity. The time over there, so I'm just going to go flip the breaker. Uh, Ms. Morgan, we strongly advise against going outside or into the kennels, especially with the power outage. We can call out a police officer dispatched and they can make wait, sure wait, it's wait, safe wait, before wait, you... Wait, 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 hold on. Is, is there any way we don't have to do that? I have to be up at six, and the last time it took them over an hour to get here for nothing, please. Uh, Ma'am... Like I said, this has happened a ton of times, and plus the dogs aren't even barking. If someone was in there, they'd be going crazy by now. Ma'am, I could get in a lot of trouble if anything happened and I didn't call anyone. It's company policy. How about this? I'll keep you on the phone while I go, okay? I'll switch to my cordless and everything. If anything happens at all, you can call the police. Miss Melgren. I will even grab my flashlight. <sighs> this mother trucker is stupid. Traumatize the poor worker. When you oh my god, man, get people with guns. Please, I just I, I have a lot going on tomorrow, and I really just want to get back to sleep. I uh, well, you uh, just stupid. Let me at least check tonight's footage to make sure everything looks okay first. All right. The dogs yeah, are barking yeah, now; they're all dead. Go for it. Okay, let me see here. Oh, you're gonna see something messed up, my man. Oh, something's gonna show up on one of these plays. Uh, um, okay, I'm getting an error. It's not letting me review it. Well, I, I can just head over really quick. Like, real quick. Well, there's no motion alert in tonight's log, so... Okay, just please be quick and safe. Thank you. Seriously, I'm gonna go throw some clothes on and, um, you know, grab the cordless, okay? Yeah, all right. Oh, look into the false alarms you mentioned and see if I can figure out what's going on with that. He's going to see her die. Yeah. He's going to watch camera footage of her get mauled. She's going to see her death. That's effed up. He's gonna witness the entity, try to get her to leave. She's not gonna listen, she's gonna scream and he's gonna see it right on the camera. I'm calling it right now. If this is how it plays out, oh my hey, gosh. On the cordless. Got my flashlight. Still there? Um, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, heading outside now and then going right across to the kennels. Yes, ma'am. Okay. It was um, she's sitting yes. right freaking yes, there. Ma'am. Okay. Oh uh, my god! Now and then going right across to the camera. How do you not see that? Deck. I okay. can see that you should see that. Tell her not to go! Tell her not to go! Moron! <sighs> 
Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I'm inside. And you gotta yep. be white. Yeah. Both of you. Definitely out. You both gotta be white, because this is only what white people would do. Okay, I'm just gonna go check on the dog. Oh my god! Stop! But everything seems fine. I'm I'm really not sure this is a good idea, Miss Mumgren. Listen, something's wrong with the recording as I'm seeing of your home. What do you, What do you mean wrong? Honestly, I'm I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking at here. It seems like the camera's glitched out or something. But the previous calls you've been getting, they they weren't false alarms. Yeah, again, I'm not sure what's going on here, but something's been stalking around your property for a while now. I, I'm not sure how the previous people who called you didn't notice. Okay. They didn't want Something to. Like, what, an animal or? No, uh, no, well, I, I don't know, actually. I just, listen, I, I just think you should go back to your house, okay? Please. Okay, okay, yeah, you, you win. Let me just make sure that the dogs are okay, and I'll head back over. They're just right here. Okay, thank you. I'm going to try to look over tonight's footage again, just in case it's decided to work. Okay. Hi, babies. Hi, Mama. It's... Um... What's wrong? Um... They're dead, aren't I don't... they? No. You okay, you okay, buddy? Charlotte? What's going on? The dogs aren't moving. They're all just... standing... here. Well, it's late, so maybe they're just tired or something. Uh, but let's just no, get you back. That's not it. They're just standing here, not moving. Like, at all. Like, not even their eyes. It, it's like... Oh, my God. It, it's like they're fucking dead, oh, but they're fuck. not. What the fuck? What? What? Miss Melgren, you need to get out of there and return to your house I immediately. I'm sending your information to the police right now. What's going on? Get the hell out of the kennel! Okay. Now! Fuck! Fuck, I'm leaving! What was that? Are you okay? Charlotte? Charlotte, are you okay? It, it just... It, it ripped my flashlight. Charlotte? It ripped my flashlight. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Something... Something ripped it out of my hand. I can't... I can't see anything. Please. Please fucking help me. Please. Please. Something's in here. Three minutes. Okay, Charlotte. I've sure. sent your information to the North Adams PD, okay? They responded that an officer will be there in three minutes. Uh, if you can find your way out. Charlotte, listen, you need to try your best to be calm and just listen to me, okay? Can you find your way out? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Somehow it killed the dogs without actually killing them. The door. The door's fucking gone. The door's fucking gone. Charlotte, you're going to be okay. Just listen to me right now. Feel along the wall until you get to a door or a window, okay? Okay. Do it right now, nice and quick, all right? He's gonna see it. He's gonna. Where the hell is the door? That's messed up, dude. Just keep going. Stay focused. There must be something. Like I said, he's gonna see it. He's gonna see her die on camera. <laughs> or he has to listen to it. Not out. I need you to tell me what room you're in so I can inform the officer. Okay. Are you able to see now even just a little? Yeah. I can't I, I can't see anything, no. It, it makes no sense. Nothing. Nothing is making sense. She I have no leave. clue where I am. It's so dark. I, I can't tell if it's really this dark or if, if I'm blind. Breathe, Charlotte. Breathe. You need to try to stay as calm as you possibly can. Listen, if it's that dark, whatever is in there probably can't see you either, okay? So it's important that we stay very quiet until the police arrive. What kind very of backward quiet. stupidity is that? Okay, good. Okay. Stay right where you are. Keep your back against the wall. 
All right, the officer is just down the road right now. You're going to be okay. Now, now listen, I'm going to stop talking so we can be completely quiet. But no, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere until you're safe. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have listened to you. It's, it's all okay. We're going to get you out of there. Now, no more talking. <laughs> He's like, no more talking, I want to listen. Sorry. Imagine it calls out her name. Oh, Billy, it's locked. If it's that dark in there, maybe it can't see you either. This is a demon. It sees through the bowels of hell. It's going to see her. It's like heat vision. Just, there it is. There's I my next meal. I think my skin is moving. That's some weird last words. She got dragged to hell. An important test. This test is made up of five statements. You will check true or false beside the corresponding number for each statement in your workbook. If you do not have your workbook, simply write one through five vertically on a piece of paper and write T or F beside each number. You will have five seconds to respond to each statement. Hey. Your test begins now. Okay, sure. Statement number one. Back the this fudge up. system is physically changing your brain. No, it's not. False. Back to fudge up. Back to fudge up. Who put true? I put false. My brain's fine. This video system leverages the principles of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections. Through these specific audiovisual stimuli and cognitive exercises, it's influencing specific neural pathways in your brain, thereby physically altering the structure and function of your brain in response to this experience. Statement number two. Only a very small percentage of people will never betray their moral values, no matter the situation. I was torn. I didn't even know how to answer that myself. I'm Under like, the right circumstances, it could go either such way. as intense peer pressure, survival situations, or psychological manipulation, it's proven that anyone can be made to betray even the strongest attachments to moral values. Statement number three: Through your conscious mind, you make your own decisions. Oh, oh. Sorry for yawning. I I had also just kind of come off of work and that was heavy lifting of human stuff. So making occurs at an unconscious level. The conscious mind rationalizes these decisions after the fact, making the person believe they made a deliberate choice. Choice is an illusion. Don't Statement say that to me. Four. Don't we say that to me. Moral thoughts and desires, but it's critical to focus our energy on the positive aspects of ourselves so that we can be better people. We all have immoral thoughts and desires, but it's critical to focus our energy on the positive aspects of ourselves so we can be better people. I'm gonna go with true. Really? The darkest aspects of your mind are part of a larger psychological entity. Don't say entity! Within your unconscious. Don't this say shadow entity. entity cannot be reasoned with. It cannot be ignored. You cannot subdue it, lock it away, or eliminate it. Even attempting any such thing has the opposite effect, only making it stronger, darker, and more dangerous. Why, why, you gotta, why you gotta put this kind of being to, to it? Psyche, and embracing your darkest urges as a part of yourself is the only way to live a fulfilling life. False! I'm not letting no shadow, no darkness, no nothing control me. Why is it getting closer? Back up. Testing complete. Nope. 
Okay, I want to pause this real quick. You know what would be the greatest way for this to end? I don't know if it will, but I would have loved it. if Because it feels like someone's raw, like, watching a lot of these tapes. That would have been perfect to go from this analog horror VHS style to then very realistic modern with the camera panning. And it's now just, you're seeing that third person perspective of the person pulling away watching. And then they begin to hear noises around them and they go... I got to get out of this lab, this warehouse. I got to go. And then it just gets so effed up from there. And it goes from this analog VHS style to this modern live action telling of just terror. Entering the subliminal bridge. What you are about to experience has been carefully constructed in combination with previous exercises to create a connection point between your conscious Where is and unconscious it? mind. Where is this it? This is our final section of this tape. Please watch and listen very closely. Do not look away or shield your eyes for any reason. No, I'm gonna do it if I want to. You can't Please tell me. remember, your fear and vulnerability are essential components to this process. Activation of the subliminal bridge will begin in five seconds. Don't do that. Don't tell me my fear is important. This is again, I think, a flashing lights warning right here. Could you not? I looked away. What are you going to do to me now? Is that a portal or something? That's just a glitchy program on a really bad computer. Really bad and old computer. Back up. Take it away. Double it and give it to someone else. can I do for you? Is this thing trying to form somewhat of a real life person? It's like AI and they just can't get it right. Makes it creepy. It really does. Ugh, why am I yawning so much? Are you, is this video doing something to me? Am I just gonna... By the end of it, what's happening here? Are you trying to put me under? Oh, it's the visuals. There's something subtle to it. You're trying to do something to me. You're gonna try to put me to sleep and play some spooky sounds in my ear. You're not winning. You're not winning over me. My reactions are becoming more and more weird. Okay, stalker, relax. No means no. If someone said no to you, doesn't mean you hide in their closet and listen to them shower. Okay, you know what's messed up? I kind of live near trains. That happened. And I'm pretty sure a train's going by because the ground beneath me just rumbled a bit. I don't freaking like that. <laughs> e. Or was the person in the shower recording? I don't like any of this. I don't... I don't like any of this. This is all so creepy. This is one heck of an experience though, I will say. That, that felt almost as if it was a 
hippy dippy <laughs> music video. <laughs> this is now kind of getting to that. I don't know what that. Mom, the AI woman is back. Mommy. to that's Charlotte, but now she's possessed. I think she got dragged to hell, though. That's gotta be the, the shaft, like the tunnel shaft inside Mount Greylock. Activation complete. What the fudge did you activate? Panels are empty too. Puppy said she had dogs here. Hmm. Okay, well, proceeding to the basement. Please tell me there's more than one Hold officer. On police. Anybody down here? That pistol gotta be out, dude. You know she was there. Jesus, it's dark in here. You know, you know that she was down there. The fuck was that? Gone out. Ready to lock and load, baby. You gotta be ready to rock and roll. Death. Jesus Christ. Rot. Oh, something's gonna lunge at him. It's gonna be Charlotte, but she's deformed. I wish my eyesight did get blurry when I took my glasses off, but it doesn't. Suddenly it turned into the thing. What the hell? The shadow community and assimilation. Is that what that was? F2, waking your subconscious video cassette. Please allow your brain to rest for at least 12 hours before continuing this video system. Once you have rested and you are ready, enter the cassette labeled TF3, the shadow, communion and assimilation. This is the end of this tape. And you just end like that. What the actual fudge? I'm going to need explanations on there. I, I, a part of me is like, is this actually done? Is this series actually done? If it's not, I'm going to need more so I can get a better grasp and understanding of it. What the crap was that at the end? It turned into the thing. The shadow and the assimilation. I'm so confused on what Greylock is about now. This is a wild ride. Again, I really hope we can get some explanations. I might have to dive deep and see if maybe someone's created a theory video, an explanation video, because I would love to know what that was. That was weird. That was cool. It was spooky, and I'm here for it. 
If you want to go and check out all the Greylog tapes for yourself, link in the description below to go and check them out. If you enjoyed this as much as I did, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought about this. If there are any series you'd like to see me react to in the future, give me some suggestions down below or on the Discord. I've had a lot of suggestions in there and I am so thankful for all of them and I cannot wait to check and look at what you've all recommended to me so far. And if you're new around here and you've been enjoying what you're seeing, why not click that subscribe button and click that bell to get notified of the next video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.